First on Fox tonight, there's a slight downtown tonight. Some thought was really impossible just a few years ago. The weekly Live on the Green concert could be seeing its largest crowd ever with potentially more than 20,000 fans. It is a big change from the free concert that attracted just a few thousand when it started six years ago. The atmosphere is amazing. It's one hour before the show. Already, fans like Rachel Brown are here. When we were here last time, it was like 20,000 people. It made a record. I thought, oh my Lord, for Friday night, it's going to be chaos. This picture from last week shows what she's talking about. <laughs> Live on the Green now attracts crowds over 20,000 to a not-so-large public square park. We think we're doing something that's unusual. Lester Turner owns Lightning 100. And he's been the driving force of all 35 Live on the Green concerts. The first time we did a show where we thought we'd have more than 10,000 people, I didn't sleep for about a week. Um, because we, literally we just, you know, we hadn't figured out what to do yet. He says the staff has had to get creative to grow the event, shutting down two streets for beer and food tents, just to give fans every square inch on the green. But that growth has reached its limit. Even Turner can't envision putting more than 20,000 fans here. That's a guiding rule for who he books to play. Jack White, the Black Keys, we would love to do those shows. Uh, but it wouldn't be practical to do that as a free show in the park. In other words, Live on the Green may grow to host more Friday and Saturday shows. I came in early so I could get some parking in a nice spot. There's a limit to how many fans can join Rachel Brown on the Green. Everybody likes a lawn party, and so bring your chairs. It's come to, fun to come out. Well, something else you may not know about, Live on the Green, this concert series was initially proposed by Mayor Dean, but Nashville itself contributes no tax money to put it on.